What is going on everyone? Welcome along to another tactics video for PES 2021 here on the channel. For any of you who are new, this is a series where I show you how to recreate and adapt real tactics so that they will work effectively in game. Before we get into anything, first things first, I want to give you my apologies for the raspy voice. I do currently have a cold, so if it's annoying any of you, I do apologise. Hopefully, um, it doesn't annoy you so much that it puts you off the video and you can just bear with me over the course of the next few videos. Anyway, let's get into it. Just a quick note for any of you who haven't yet checked it out or are new to the channel, not only should you subscribe, but also go and check out my AS Roma Jose Mourinho Realistic Master League series with mods as well. Currently, a few episodes in, really enjoying it so far. The quality of the production, um, I have to say, is, is much better than what I've done in recent series in in any previous series really so it's one that i'm really enjoying and i think you guys will really enjoy it as well so please do go and check that out after this video and on that note let's get into it so jürgen klopp teams we know them what are they renowned for the counter pressing the attacking at speed the versatility very entertaining team to watch and they've obviously had a lot of success and him as a manager, really, a lot of success, not just at Liverpool with this system, but with the same sort of principles throughout his career. So we know, of course, it is a 4-3-3. However, you will notice that we do currently have a fluid formation. So I'm going to talk about that um, very shortly. But first, if you have a look on the page, we've got this 4-3-3 with one defensive midfielder and two central midfielders as well. It's important to note that um, these central midfielders have to be flat rather than changing them to attacking midfielders because what you'll find is that they're very much industrial. You know, they are the ones, so they're offered protection for the two fullbacks, Alexander Arnold and Robertson, in most cases, who are really the main creative outlet in the team. They are there to provide for the front three, and in particular the front the two wingers, as much as possible. So with the two fullbacks essentially getting forward so much and being so advanced, the three central midfielders will offer them protection as much as they possibly can, which is why you don't really see them, you know, higher play people, players like, well, for example, there was a lot of rumours about Philip Coutinho returning to the team, and, and he wouldn't really wouldn't fit that because he's, he's more of an advanced area player. Whereas the likes of Henderson, Thiago, um, Oxlade Chamberlain, and then even, you know, by extension, Curtis Jones, etc. Harvey Elliott now we're seeing getting some game time. Um, you know, these guys can provide that more protective role um, if and when they need to for those fullbacks. So it is important to note that. Now, we do have Roberto Firmino as a second striker here rather than a centre forward. We'll talk about him a, a little bit more later on in the video when we come on to the advanced instructions. But we do have him as a second striker because naturally he does drop off a lot. That's a very big part of his game. He he fills that role with those central midfielders being so flat. He then drops into those advanced areas in the central part of the field. And so he essentially yeah, plays that false nine. And that gives license for the likes of Mane and Salah um, to then utilise their pace and movement and just get in behind as much as possible. So it really does a good job of balancing that out. However, when we go into when out of possession with the fluid formation, you'll notice it looks a little bit different. Now, don't be freaked out. There is a method to the madness here. First things first, you'll notice one change in the central midfielders and that is Jordan Henderson is now a defensive midfielder rather than a central midfielder. That's just to allow a little bit of protection because... One thing I guess this plays into a, a wider ethos really is that whilst Jurgen Klopp's teams are rightly so um, applauded um, and renowned for how good they are attacking and how exciting they are and, and the, the intensity that they play at, it's also worth bearing in mind that Jurgen Klopp is actually, he's very hell-bent on, on the defensive side of the game as well. He wants as much protection for his back line and essentially his goal as possible. And so, with the likes of Jordan Henderson being on defensive midfielder, it will just drop him back a little bit more and provide a little bit more protection for the likes of Van Dijk, and in this case, Canate. But you'll also notice that, of course, we do have Roberto Firmino on attacking midfield. And that's because what it is, is that the front three won't really track back in pairs. When they're playing as wingers or centre forward or second striker, you know, they're going to stay forward. And what you'll notice with Roberto Firmino a lot is that he will often track back and what this does is it actually gives more license for the likes of Mane and Salah 
in certain situations to stay forward and then that's how they hit teams on the counter attack so effectively and so consistently so with this him and him and attacking midfield he'll trap back more and that is very very important now you may be thinking well how does the press get affected by this but don't worry we'll come on to that in the tactics and you'll notice in the gameplay on the right hand side as well that you know the, the press is really unaffected by this change so that is it then for the formation itself let me go into the instructions now and the tactics themselves and we'll start off with attacking and then we'll work our way through so first things first attacking style this is actually on counter attack now you'll notice that obviously in recent times particularly after they won the champions league you notice that liverpool kind of had to change the way they played a little bit um and part of that was the reason behind the Thiago signing that they had to be a, a bit more possession orientated but you'll notice that teams who are like Liverpool who are just expected to win you know a lot of games will have to be like that anyway so we have it on counter attack because then you get the emphasis on the likes of Salah and Mane etc breaking forward and hitting teams as quickly as possible but then in build up we have this on short pass so that when you're struggling to break teams down when the opportunity for a counter attack isn't on then the short pass works and players will start you know providing those possessional short passing options then really try and break teams down in that method so you get that really nice balance that liverpool do have in real life next up with the attacking area this is on wide we've already alluded to it so i'm not going to go into it too much but of course we spoke about how alexander arnold and robertson will often be well they are the most creative outlets in the team and so with that attacking area out wide and then what you'll notice is also you can replicate um, the central midfielders occasionally coming out wide as well now the likes of let's say um, Henderson or last season by now etc wouldn't do this as much but since they've introduced uh, younger players such as Harvey Elliott who's getting a bit of game time or Curtis Jones you'll then notice what they do is they drift out wide a little bit more and they provide extra options and so with the attacking area on wide You'll see a bit more of that emphasis. You'll see the central midfielder occasionally drifting out just to give them a little bit extra support in those areas. With the positioning, that's our maintained formation. Very rarely will you find players roaming about. Now, you will sometimes see the front three, or well, particularly the wingers, switching wing occasionally. But it's it's not enough to really justify changing this to flexible. So we keep this on maintained formation. You've got that nice rigid setup. With the support range, we just alluded to it again earlier, uh, but we, talk, we spoke about how we wanted to get that nice balance between the possession game when they can't break teams down, players will come shorter, and then also the counter-attack where they're looking for long balls forward to really you know, play through the lines, play a bit more direct, and, and utilise the counter-attack as effectively as possible. So with support on four, you'll find that that changes it to a slightly more balanced approach. So that's really, as you'll see in the gameplay, gives you that nice variety, again, with the, the way in which you can attack teams and, and hold possession of the ball. So that is it for the attacking instructions. Let me show you the defensive areas now. With defensive style, frontline pressure, obviously we've already spoken about how you know they're very well known for their, their counter-pressing, their pressing as a unit when they need to and when the opposition are showing signs of weakness so you know we don't really need to go into that too much that's the same with pressuring as well with that on aggressive that whole plays into their whole gig and pressing type system uh, with containment area this is on wide the majority of teams particularly ones who play fullbacks will want to shift teams out wide you want them to play around you and not through you um, recently we did a Thomas Tuchel Chelsea tactic where of course they have the free back and then we were shepherd them in to the central areas because it was all part of how they they lay traps and they'll set you in they'll you know, lure you into those traps um, but in this case it's very much that basic principle just force them out wide try and force them to cross balls into the box because then you're crossing it into the likes of Virgil van Dijk who you back in the air every time uh, with the defensive line this is all the way up to 10 to very much um, complement the the pressing um, now it's important to note that they also do try and play offside a lot as well. So that's really why we got this all the way up to 10 rather than 8. Because it's very much extreme, that high line. Um, plus, you've also got the likes of Van Dijk, Canate, Joe Gomez, who are physically very good centre-backs. You know, they're very pacey, very strong. So they should be able to cover that ground really effectively. Which is one of the reasons why you're able um, to complement this sort of highest line as possible. 
And with compactness, this is up to a again trying to be narrow, stopping teams play through you, force them out wide as much as possible. It's not all the way up to ten though, because it just allows you a little bit more leeway to get your players out to the crosser to try and stop the cross as much as possible. Really, you just want to prevent all balls getting into your box by any means, um, and so that is a, the best way to do that. So now we can move on to the advanced instructions. As you can see, we've maxed out the attack uh, and we've got one on defense. So first things first, attack one, we have it on attacking fullbacks. Again, um, repeating myself here a little bit, so I do apologize, but you know, we've spoken about the attacking fullbacks, how they are the creative outlet. So that's the most important thing. You need that one on because again, they're going to be getting forward as much as possible. You'll see in the gameplay, they're a very important part of, the, of how we attacked and, you know, the high volume of, of attacks so were, were really going through them on the sides and we were playing through them whether or not it be crosses maybe it was layoffs maybe it was coming back inside but there would be a very big part of it and as a result you'll then see the likes of the central midfielders will protect them and then the wingers uh, won't really come in central as it suggests there with that picture what they'll do is they'll angle their runs so that when they're running in behind um, you get that nice sort of aiming towards the box really um, and that is the most important thing with attack two, this is on false nine. Again, with Roberto Firmino, we said we'd go into a bit more depth earlier on, and this is where we want to talk about Roberto Firmino. He will naturally, of course, drop off to pick up those advanced areas and those advanced pockets of space that will be left because of the fact that your central midfield three are a little bit flatter and are getting into those areas. So with Firmino then... Um, dropping off as you can see it then encourages the two wingers uh, to really try and get in behind um, and that's how they look to really complement each other in that style so it's very much based around trying to get Mane and trying to get Salah into the best positions as possible to score goals because that's what they do um, so with that on false nine does a very very good job of it and um, you know it really really plays a role well just one defensive instruction in the end and that is Gegen press don't need to go into this too much again they'll immediately try and uh, win possession back as soon as they lose it so again it is that whole counter press does of course require a lot of stamina as it says there but it's important to remember that you want to just try and rest in possession as much as you possibly can when in the ball um, so that you can really recuperate that if and when you need to one thing I should finally point out that I usually do in these videos players to join attack um, it's important to note that you need to do this if you want your center backs and anyone else who doesn't go up to go up for corners and f wide free kicks etc um, otherwise when you're taking corners if you don't do this then they'll stay back and obviously they are your biggest aerial threat so just make sure you've got van dyke canate and in this case i have selected fabinho as well if he is your defensive midfielder to get forward so that you'll have them up front for um you know corners free kicks etc talking of set pieces one thing i finally want to let you guys know is how they attack and defend set pieces as well something that we can do in PES because it's a little bit more advanced than the likes of FIFA um, in terms of attacking set pieces uh, and particularly corners what you'll find is that they like to get their players particularly the likes of Van Dyke and the other center backs etc they want them running onto the ball um, and what this does is it makes it as hard as possible for the opposition to pick them up really um, particularly in man marking situations so what they'll do is or what i do in this game is i'll use dash quite a lot and really you get the best sort of reflection of that because then you get the likes of van dyke um, really using his physical um, prowess in those corner situations um, to then get away from his marker and then get his head on it um, so it things like dash will really work very well and defensively liverpool actually adopt a zonal marking generally so make sure when you're looking at defensive corners and free kicks etc um, to switch that to zonal because um, that is the best way to reflect that right then that just about finishes it off for this video if you've got any questions about the tactic please do not hesitate to let me know and get at me in the comments section don't forget to check out my AS Roma Master League series as Jose Mourinho in a realistic fashion. Um, the link to that is in the description down below. Really enjoying that one so far, so please do go and check it out. And do go and check out any of my other PES 21 tactics as well. We've got a whole playlist. The link to that will also be in the description, so check that one out. If you enjoyed the video, then please do subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you get notifications every time I upload. And don't forget to leave me a follow on Twitter. The link to that is in the description right here. On that note, we're going to finish it off there. So until next time, I've been Bromway Teen, and I'll see you soon.